Hello, hello everyone. Ellen Woodbridge here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. Happy Tuesday. So, try and think. Yes, it is Tuesday. It's been a long morning so far. Lots of phone calls, lots of life admin happening here. I hope your Tuesdays a little less life admin than what my morning has been so i've been looking forward to getting on here and crafting with you guys hey vanessa make sure you say hi as you uh pop in give me a thumbs up if you like what you see and make sure you are following and subscribe so you see more videos so i hope you had a crafty weekend i most certainly did i had my class on sunday and I am sharing with you one of my cards from Sunday. Hello, Miss Linda. Um, so I'm sharing with you one of the masculine cards. So I hope everyone... Oh, awesome, Cindy. That's perfect timing. The best of both worlds, front porch therapy and crafting with me. You couldn't ask for anything better. So make sure you tell me how your weekend uh, was. Uh, yeah, I did a lot of running around on Saturday with kids. Um, that's what I felt like my Saturday was. But Sunday was nice and creative. And we had our um, Creativity Now event on Saturday night, which was lots of fun just to get on Zoom and create See some behind the scenes things of how um, some of our products come together. And that was great. Hello, Marjean. Hello, Leanne. Busy but good. Yeah, that's pretty much how mine was as well, Cindy. So today is free shipping day here in Australia. So 21st of June is free shipping day. And not only is it free shipping, you've also got discounts on our last chance list and you have, there's something else, last chance list and there's something else as well. I can't even think of what the other thing is. I am having a complete mental blank and I need to go and check the newsletter that I sent this morning yes. to see and mute myself. <laughs> Someone can jog my memory. Hello, Miss Ross. You've already put your order in, Vanessa. Good girl. Good girl. Um, yes. I am yet to do my order. I'm having a complete mental blank about, and we have the buy one, get one free kits or buy one, get one 50% off kits. How can I forget the kids? We were only playing with them last week. So we've got free shipping, buy one, get your more expensive kit 50% off and our um, discounts on some of our retiring products. Celebration hasn't happened yet, Vanessa. That's at the beginning of next month. For demonstrators, we can earn celebration products now, but not for customers, not yet. 1st of June till the 31st of August, I think. I'm not quite 100% on that last date, but the end of August. So what we are playing with today, oh, good girl, Cindy, good girl. Um, hey, sports fan. So I have played with this paper a number of times. This is our um, baseball paper. Hey, Linda, how are you? Um, this is baseball themed, but as you can see, all these patterns I have here are not baseball themed. So we're going to pair these designer series papers with a pennant. So there's going to be a bit of hand cutting for me today, but luckily it's easy hand cutting. Um, and I'm going to make a number of cards. I may be overcut for class, but that's okay. I just want to get the stuff done. We are using, so that paper is retiring and part of our last chance sale. Um, the Happy and Heartfelt stamp set, that is also retiring. And I this definitely has a discount on it. Uh, very good, Marjean. Everyone's 
making their list and checking it twice and acting like Santa early six months and four days at three day four days early um, and I have grabbed out something brand new so the alpha best stamp set and the matching best label die is something we're going to use as well and this is the very simple card that we are going to make oh linda that sounds good hey deb how are you okay hey donna okay so this is the card nice and simple perfect masculine card so i'm going to flick us around leave the things on the desk i have a basket with all my die cuts i've also used the stitch rectangle dies um, so I haven't forgotten about those dies, despite being slightly obsessed uh, with the stitch shape dies. I do still reach it regularly for my stitch rectangles. Ah, right. Hang on. Which which one, Cindy? The Alpha Best. I'm curious which set now. Type in which set while I flick around and um, I'll turn off my overhead light, turn off my heater now that I'm talking and moving and all hot. Well, not hot, warm, because it is a cool day. But anyway, let's flick around. Although today is a good drying day. I have a few jumpers on the clothesline uh, because it's a few degrees warmer than what... It is meant to be so old school flicking around here and we just need to unreverse the screen and move this over and I think we shall do a titch of a zoom in if we can I'll see how that zoom is while I turn off my light zooms pretty good let's just kick that up a titch here straighten and kick it up a titch and I think we are all good let me see myself no I need to kick it up a little bit more there we go let's see how that is now that's a little better. That's perfect. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So I'm going to, these are probably going to go off screen for a little bit. I need to work out how many card bases I've got. So well, we're using very vanilla today because the base of the designer series paper is very vanilla. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six card bases, which means I'm going to need six banners. And that is where I'm going to start, is with our banners. So I'm thinking they don't all have to be the banners with the stick. Some of them can be the pennants as well. Now I'm going to grab my non-Stampin' Up! Sprung scissors because they work heaps better for my hand so I'm thinking celebrate and yay for two and on the other side of this is just the baseball ball stitch or the do you say baseball ball or just baseball stitch I don't know how you say that properly someone who lives in baseball land country can tell me Hello Critters and Ink, how are you? No problems, no problems. Totally understand that it is past some people's bedtime. The replay will always be here. So, well. Now, did I say six or seven because for those of you that weren't here at the start of the video, it's been a bit of a morning so far. 
just had a lot of complicated life admin to deal with. Um, kind of like this yay up here. Because that could be a yay, it's your birthday, yay on a good job. Many, many things. I don't know why I'm being so particular up here. So that's three. Oh, hello, Lisa. You logged in under another one. Um, the way to go is pretty good. Just go in and out and back across. So how many is that? That's two four five I think I only need one more um, 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 I kind of like the way to go so let's go there and then I am going to open the floor up to you guys to ask me questions while I am hand cutting and then I will endeavour to answer them um, while I'm doing the tedious hand cutting. So it'll take me a little bit. Hello Lisa. So um, I don't know any questions that you have. They don't necessarily have to be craft related questions. Um, but I'm more than happy to answer anything, any burning questions you've ever had about me. Um, I'm more than happy to um, answer them within, um, within limits. Um, yeah, happy you guys know I share a lot of my life here. So more than happy. So ready, set, go. Ask me whatever burning questions you have about my creative process, about how I have to, um, how I have to maybe change things for my disability. Whatever comes to mind. Generally, most questions are off limits. I am fairly open, but I won't say that. Okay, I'm not going to go on the insides of these little pennant ends because that's just being way too fiddly. Yeah, bit too sharp of an edge there. And one more step. Yay, one down. Woohoo! Five more to go. And if I need another one, I can grab another one at the end. But I thought we'll get the tedious one first. And um, how's the grandbaby? They apparently have colds at the moment. So that's um, it's not good to hear. But when you've got an older sister that goes to school, it's inevitable. And a dad who gets the train to work, it's... Um, inevitable that you'll bring home some germs so I haven't seen him since last Wednesday but he was adorable last Wednesday growing up way too quickly can't believe he is like six months old it's crazy 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 but he's a cheeky little sod nothing like his mother or father or grandfather at all because I have no gene um, I have no gene claim there because I'm not related to his mum by blood I'm the ring in okay. 
Oh, I know. Sorry to hear those six months. Yeah, it's not good. I could. I could, Vanessa. Um, can I very quickly run into the kitchen and put my hand on toothpicks? I'm not sure. Considering, <laughs> funny story, does your craft act as OT for you? Absolutely, Lisa. That is a fantastic question. And that is one of the reasons I got into crafting. Um, well, one of the reasons why I kept with it. It's all my mum's fault while I, why I started. Because uh, she's always been a very crafty kind of gal. Um, but yes, it definitely does act as OT. Um, but I do like your toothpick, although what I'd really like is maybe some long toothpicks that I don't have. I only have a short toothpicks. Yes, we could colour toothpicks. Hello, Mr. Linda. So lovely to have you here. I have missed having you in my little woodette posse. Hey, Miss Linda, how are you? So we'll continue cutting, but yes, um, Lisa, this definitely um, does act as OT and it definitely does keep my um, hands um, active, which is good. And I mean, using the springs, I've still got to, even though the springs help me, I still have to use muscle to close this, but yeah. Hello, Miss Joy. We're just having some question time while I do some hand cutting here. So any questions that you guys have about my crafting or my life, please feel free to ask and I will answer while we're going. Um, Lisa, I recently, um, I was a presentation for my exercise physiologist. So he comes and does stuff with me every week bit like a physio but not a physio um more like rehabby type stuff um sorry i feel like i'm terrible for being off screen but anyway um and he presented me as a case to his work people last uh wednesday and yes my crafting was absolutely spoken about as a um as a therapy shame I can't claim it though be good if I could claim it but hey so my cutting is not precise today so some of my edges are straight some of my edges are curved it just is what it is <sighs> hello Mimi it has been forever I am doing well thank you yes this DSP is super cute and I'm trying to use some of, some more of it up before it goes so we're making um, this super cute masculine card which just happens to require some hand cutting but do you know what I think I'm going to I don't know Look, the toothpick by itself would look really good. The only thing I'm thinking about is how do I incorporate, because this is like the end for my flag, how I incorporate this detail with a pennant. But I certainly could go and see if I can find my toothpicks and you guys can talk around about yourselves. Found a great way to hold dies on your cardstock when cutting them out. Strips of press and seal. That is a really good tip, Vanessa. I do have press and seal here all the way from the US. So at the time I got press and seal, it wasn't very easy to get. I think you can only get it really in Costco here. And I don't have a Costco locally, nor do I have a Costco membership. Mind you, they sound so super huge. I've never been to one. I really don't think I could comfortably walk around it to do my shopping, if that makes sense. I'm just going to cut this bottom one 
out so then it's not in the way when we do the yay trying to trying to be smart play smart not hard but our paper snips are amazing for um, hand cutting it's just the opening and closing and doing this much hand cutting is extremely tiring on my hands and I'm doing well because I'm not even wearing my reading glasses I'm just wearing my everyday glasses so I'm thoroughly impressed with myself I must have more one two three four three four five I swear I had six do I have another one no no okay can someone tell me where my other one was it's not on any of my off cuts maybe I do need to go back to my paper I counted totally wrong I'm much better at cutting than you really no yeah 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 Hang on. huge stores don't work for me it's too much walking yeah that's right Deb that's exactly right and Deb if I didn't say hello to you I do apologize um, stick a glue dot under the flag yes that's what I'm kind of thinking of Vanessa I, I think I know where they are um, it's in one or two places in my pantry so it will do some assembly and then and like do some stamping because we've got sentiment to stamp or a sub sentiment because the way to go yay and yay and celebrate um, really does lend yourself to this sentiment. We have to celebrate this. It's actually really not a specific birthday sentiment. It's just a celebratory sentiment. Don't cut the stick off, Ellen. Don't have a tremor. But you are having a tremor, so that's okay. All good. It's a pretty rustic set anyway so we're fine and I do actually have my elbows leaning on the table for a bit of stability for me and all I'm really doing is opening and closing the scissors and I'm moving the paper and not really the head of the scissors because that works best Okay, am I going to have to cut some more? I can't believe I counted them out. Two, four, five, I need, definitely need one more. Just have to grab, I haven't put the sheet back in the paper, uh, uh, my paper folder. So we're totally safe i hate the last little bit of any hand cutting it is the most tedious deep breath cut down give this a little pull and then we just need to tidy the top of the flag and probably thin Just got my fingers on those scissors as well, just to give me a bit of a nice edge. Okay, so that's five. Where was I going? Um, kind of. Do I already have an all star? Mm, do we want another happy day? And then if we need another one, we've got go team just in case there were seven and I miscounted at the start well I almost stuffed that one up just doing a rough cut first oh, 
and I've locked them at the same time. Hey, Jason, how are you? It is really rustic and I love it. I love it. I love it. I get a wheelchair of go <laughs> and a gopher. Yeah, well, look, I could take my electric wheelchair to Costco, but I have no reason to go to Costco. I'm happy with how we shop um, here. And frankly, I don't have the storage space um, to put everything. You can't cuss, fussy cut to save your life. Neither can I really, but if I have to, I'll do it. And this paper really means I have to. So we said happy day. So let's go straight down here. So Jason, we've got a bit of an ask me anything segment happening while I do all of this um, cutting. So if you have any questions for me, please feel free to ask. Even if it's about any of the amazing three specials that we have at the moment. So we've got our free shipping. We have our last chance list on the January to June mini catalogue. And we have our buy one, get one. 50% off on our kit collection kits, which is the higher price kit, which is amazing. So I, I, I'm not buying any more kits, uh, but if I did have my eye on a kit, I'd buy one for me and I'd buy one for a friend or I'd buy one for my stash to gift a friend. Um, always a great thing if someone's um, rehabilitating like my mum she's um, still recovering from her broken ankle doing as well as she can but you know she's not working and getting out there I don't know if she's actually grabbed any of her craft or got dad to grab any of her craft boxes down for her okay that I don't think took as long as what I expected. I really don't. Now I've put my extra over there. So I've got all these ready to go. So I'm just going to pop all these to the side and I need to do the other boring task of folding all my very vanilla thick card bases. Is there a shop in Australia that sells American stuff? They did have press and seal. Ah, look, many, I think some of even craft stores do do it, but yeah, I don't know. I had a friend of mine sending me a box of things from the US and um, she kindly went to her grocery store and... I'm just trying to get one card base here, not two, but you'd think that would be easier said than done. Um, and she got me some press and seal. Although I think in some places, it is, some places it is more readily available these days. This was a number of years ago. So when I'm folding my card bases, they are pre-scored. And I always make sure that my valley piece is on the inside. So valley piece on the, oh sorry, mountain on the inside, valley on the outside. So I always find I get a better fold with that. Okay, let me check these. Yeah. Yeah, hello Miss Margaret. Ah, uh, present seal from Costco in Sydney. She's lovely, Leslie. It's just I forget to use it a lot. Oh, that is very poorly scored. But guess what? It doesn't matter because that's the front side. Oh, maybe it does. Maybe it is a bit bodge. It's okay. This cut's going to a boy. Will a boy really notice how bodgy that is? I may trim it later. If I remember. Okay. Now, 
these are all this way and that's that way okay flip all these over let me grab a swig of water oh hello leslie <laughs> we've already had conversation let's the hello is totally implied mm -hmm. so i have all these pieces of pre-cut one two three four five so these are pre-cut i am what i actually might do is grab out all our yellow star pieces and give them a stamp because that would be playing smart i'm thinking that's another star piece so we're up to four star pieces and five and six are there any more star pieces hiding in here no 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 okay i was right we did have six cards although I am thinking with our banner piece, with our pennant pieces, that still works. I could still put that there and then that there. Okay, that still works. It's all good. So I'm still just stamping it slightly off to the side. Okay. And we need, because this is Knight of Navy, I'm going to grab my Knight of Navy ink from the Happy and Heartfelt set. I'm using the We Have to Celebrate This because we have to celebrate lots of things in life. Oh my dear word. Hang on, what have I missed there, Vanessa? Oh dear, Vanessa, that's not good. I don't think I've ever been special enough to give myself a black eye, though. Okay, I'm going to use one of my longer blocks. I'm even going to use... The, you're, you guys are all going to think I'm ridiculous using this huge block for this little stamp. But... I will show you the method in my madness in just a second. Oh, well, on screen, I find, oh no, the, the vanilla card base looks fairly vanilla, actually. But sometimes, for this, it works well. But this is uh, very rustic. So, I use, ho oh, oh, lucky I dropped that that way, hey. So I use this so when I look through it, I can see the whole die cut piece. So you're there going, Ellen, that's ridiculously huge. I'm there going, well, it allows me to have a hope in hell of getting this stamped somewhat straight. Now, because it is a lovely um, handwritten sentiment i really don't have to worry about being perfect and getting it perfectly straight because it's handwritten not many people that i know that write in cursive um, can get their writing completely straight If I use a bigger block, okay, Deb, what you want, see, this is, I did notice this, light taps, if you squish too far into the ink pad, that's, or if you rock and roll in your ink pad, is when you get ink all over your block, and 
the other thing that you can also get is I've got a little bit here but not much you can get ink on the edges of the stamp and then if you press it too hard onto your stamping surface is when you transfer that but I considering how heavy handed I am um, I just use a light hand so small tap tap I know generally if it's inked up um, but if I don't, I turn it over to see if it's shiny or not. This one isn't shiny because I've already stamped off. Um, but yes, I just like the view to have a hope of getting this straight. Okay, now my scissors to close this ink pad because we don't need a disaster. So now we need to kind of... We need to almost hand design each card uh, because we have a different colour pennant for each card. So I may, I may totally put this, celebrate this, totally different space to where I would think I would put it for this one because I want to break up my yellow. I don't necessarily want my two yellow pieces next to each other, nor do I want my two stripe pieces next to each other. And then if I do this, that works really well. And do you know what? No, that works. That works but I could even put this like over both but I think I will still pop this one up on dimensional so that's where I'm going to start grab my little dimensional packet here and my handy dandy utility paper snips and at that OT appointment I did actually tell them about my utility paper snips that they fit perfectly in my hand and I can pick things up with them so keep going with any questions if you have them I think I've only ever broken toes because I definitely didn't break my rib when I had a sore rib a couple of months ago I definitely didn't break it and even though I got an x-ray on my toe last week, I just spoke to the doctor this morning and I didn't break my toe. So where I start with is my top and my bottom pieces. And then I line up the two in between. That just works better for me. You will find um, a rhythm for how you like to um, pop these kinds of pieces in. You right, Dar? I'm just eyeballing it and that looks okay. Hey David, do you know where the toothpicks are? Because I'm we kind of want to use them in the crafting today. Could you t check the top drawer in the pantry for me? And they'd be on the right hand side. If not, they're on the open shelf. They're in a little container. Like a little dispenser. There you go. Minions. Hello, Peggy. Oh, okay, pay attention to my sample. Oh, fair enough. Yes, exactly, Vanessa. You've got to protect that hip. I'm hoping I'm a bit like my mum and have really good moans because her surgeon recently was very impressed with her bone density for her age. So I went, hmm, radio. And then I will put celebrate like there on dimensionals so I will dimensional that now we'll see if we can find the toothpicks if not I'm just 
happy to stick that down. So we will repeat this process for each card um, and work out what, how we want to, pardon? Oh, okay, cool, thanks. Ah, oh, that's what that was. David's going to use the step lighter for me. Great man. Lucky I nabbed him. Okay, I don't know. Okay, these can go here. That's fine. Next, I'm going to have the way to go. So what I may want to do, I want to use one of those, one of those, and one of those. And I think I pretty much want it as my sample is. Because then I haven't got the red on the red. Or maybe I can switch these ones around. Whoops, there goes my dimensionals. And then we've got this one here. So we just get a better colour balance. I like that. Although this card base needs a bit of persuasion. That's better. So, Mr. Linda, how are you? Are you at home, Mr. Linda? Hello, Miss Jane. Are you at home at the moment? Or are you out and about watching? nice having people I haven't seen in a while dropping in. I mean it's lovely having everyone drop in. Ah right. Well I do hope he's going as well as he can be. The good thing is using the wet glue I can have a little bit of wiggle room. Pop this one on three dimensionals. Now, I'll put my scissors up here because, you know, I haven't really made a mess. Ah, I don't, you, you don't need a lot. So maybe you need to look at the amount that you're squeezing out because you don't... Uh, I know it looks like I use a lot, but I really don't. They are really small. Um, they are really small dots that I use. Oh, I think he found them. I think I can hear them, which will be amazing. An amazing suggestion from Vanessa. So I'm going to pop this on dimensionals just to give it a bit of prominence on the card there we go and then do this one although I do like the tickets on the back of this blue wood grain this blue wood grain reminds me of the wood grain in my cupboards ah thank you so much you are amazing you saved the day and I didn't have to leave that's okay. it Thank you. Oh, I was going to do it. <laughs> right. We have the toothpicks that we've had. I reckon you had these toothpicks when I met you. That shows you how often we use toothpicks. <laughs> dot, 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 you don't need a lot. I love that, Leslie. I love that. Uh, yay, David. Delinda just went, yay, David. So, I'm still going to leave the, the pennants till the end, but we have our toothpicks. Yay. Not. I've just lost a pennant. I will find it, but I've lost it. This one I'm going to put inside the card. Hmm, don't know where that one went. We'll find it, hopefully. If not, it will get finished later. 
Yeah, and I don't squeeze that much. Like, it looks like I squeeze because my hands are my hands. But I don't actually have to squeeze a lot at all. And now I need this one. What am I missing? This one. Yes. Great. Okay. So we're going to use a blue one. I think I want, I want this. I want this one at the bottom. I've obviously got, oh no, I haven't got two of, two of something. So you can see some of them I ended up doing the stripes the other way. So then when I put the two stripes together, they had a little bit more interest. And just to balance the colours, popping the wood grain blue at the bottom. Perfect. So you can see this is just production style, but just doing a little bit individual on each one just something a little bit different and then I've got a great stash of masculine cards and look one of these may even be great for a graduation card I don't know if it's still graduation season in um, your end of the world but year 12 and I do have lavender in the 12 at school, which is the end of high school. Um, we're doing all assessment tasks and major works and things like that at the moment. I think it's an essay in class today, which is not so exciting. Not lab's favourite thing to do. Ah, right. Yeah, it is. And I feel you lose a lot of glue transferring it into bottles. So I do store mine upside down. So the glue is always there at the top. And um, I find that helps me. And you could use a shot glass or something in your craft room. Just happens um, I've got a friend who did this 3d printing for me here in Australia um, yeah but for me as a demonstrator it's not worth oh, I just put those on the wrong one it's okay I can transfer them off um, for me as a demonstrator it's not worth me not buying my own product so obviously up to you guys what you do but yeah for me not worth it look at this we're getting it changed over and done without with minimal ripping and one for the middle so it's not saggy take these backings off and it's stuck to my finger I didn't no one saw that that was such a quick change no one saw anything untoward here nothing happened okay and we just glue that one down you could put them haphazardly like one more left one more right I just like them in a column there's lots of things Oh wow. Wow, that's um that's a massive but I'd say it's due to them not being able to get the product because of all the global shipping and production delays around the world, but yeah. Okay, that there. I love that. But I still like this on here. Because what I did, I was sitting here, I don't even know if someone from here was here while I was making it. Um, I think Maureen, I was chatting with Maureen while I was making these. 
and um, I went, I need something, I need something. And I went, oh, I need these little stars. And then all of a sudden I went, oh, the new Alphabest set has stars. And then the, the punch that goes with it looks like a ticket. So it just worked perfectly for the style of the card. Now I'm going to put dimensionals on this one first. Then we don't get all kerfuffled because there's nothing worse than being kerfuffled. Well, and three, right. Now, let's, let's go with the blue one again. So we'll keep that same, same, same. So we'll go this. Oh, that's good, Delinda. That's good. Although I was having trouble with my glue yesterday. And what I actually did, just to equalise the pressure, I did open the broad tip end just so some air got in um, to equalise the pressure. And then I just closed it up. And that helped a lot too. Because it is double-sided. You've got your pen tip that I prefer to use and the broad tip. So... Just another little tip for you. Sometimes they just need a bit of persuasion. Now I put that red one at the top. Was there any mail, David? No. Oh good, no bills. Were the toothpicks exactly where I said they were? No, in the open shelf at the back. Oh, in the open shelf at the back. Now, see, one of the two places, but I definitely wouldn't have been able to get it if David got the um, got the stepladder because he's, he's a fair bit taller than me and he likes to tell me all about it all the time in a nice way most of the time. Thank you very much, Deborah. They are very Highland Heather. And we went for something different this time. And we got a matte finish. I've always loved the visual look of matte finishes. But I never kind of... Uh, I wanted that one there. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, but I never, I never knew if I'd like the feel of it. They actually feel like velvet. They have a really, really velvety finish. I'm very happy with them. And it's like, it's magnetic. So she puts polish on the second coat. And before she uh, cures it, puts a magnet over it. And it pulls all the sparkles to the top. I have a feeling this one is going to turn into a firm favourite. So that one works. That one on the inside down to our second last one so we're going to use the yay we're doing well we're getting there so one two three just like that so if I put this at the bottom and then that at the top and then that and then that perfect yes yes I um I just never tried it before. My old nail lady from eons ago, would, she goes, no, don't do that. They look so lovely. And um, yeah, just this nail lady went, oh, these nails look, or this polish looks so good with matte. And I went, do it, do it, do it. So she did. So I think I'm a convert because I, because I am so heavy handed, I um, scratch the, or, you know, scratch, it's not really scratching, but it does end up being scratched. I, um, I dull the, the, um, the gloss polish anyway. So I think, I, so far they're wearing really well. I did get some, um, 
Stampin' Blends. I got a dot of Stampin' Blends on one last night, but it's wearing off quite easily. So I was a bit worried about that when I did that at karate. Um, but yeah, so I'm, um, I'm just, if they wear well and look newer for longer, I think I'll just stick with matte so then they don't look worn and haggard by the end of the time I'm due to get new nails, besides the fact they've grown out significantly. There's my other piece, it's hiding under there. Not that one. What's not that one, Jane? What did I miss? So I think I might go rainbow because you've got a whole range of these colours. And I might, oh, well, it's not rainbow, but I might go multicolour with the, um, the range that she has. Okay, we are down to the last card front. And then I can pop this away. One less thing on my desk. Yay. So at the moment I've got my Christmas stamp thon prepped. I've still got my new product that I haven't organised yet. So, um, okay. So this is a yellow one. So this is where I kind of want to put the... Oh, see, this is hard. Because I've used this to hide the end, okay, let's lay it out and see what we think. So this, I like the blue under the yellow, because I have a thing of using green and gold together. Aussies will get it. It's very, very Aussie using green and gold. So, I could leave that there and just, hmm, hmm, we call it flower garden when you use multiple colours. Ah, okay, not a problem, not a problem. Okay, Vanessa, lovely for you to pop in. Um, you'll definitely have to watch to see how the toothpicks work. Definitely, definitely. Okay. Um, let's just do it because it's going to need the pop of red there anyway. Let's just do it. It's just a card. It's just stamps, inks, and paper. We're not going to solve the world problems with it, but it still helps. If only sending cards could solve the world's problems. How cool would that be at us making and sending cards? Okay, got that one down. And to go red at the top. Oh, this is actually Poppy Parade. I don't think I'd mention that. Because we are definitely going to be using the Poppy Parade ink and cardstock in a second. That's going to be our next job is to get those pieces ready and then the final assembly that there. Do, 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 do. and I'm very excited probably on Thursday if not next week I haven't decided I'm going to be sharing with you a new fancy fold which will be lots of fun. I mean, it's not new, but it's new to me. And it's it's a fun-looking, super-duper easy fancy fold. And it's actually really good for left-handed people. Okay. So I've done a bit of a stagger here. Not on purpose. 
we've just done a bit of a stagger and that's fine okay so I'm just going to pop that one there could have done dimensionals on all of those as we were going but I got out of the groove and these are all my bits so we said six so I'm going to pop out six of these tags okay you know you always get more scraps than what you need okay so we need one two won't get any more out of that corral all those pieces generally like to put them on my Stampin' Up! logo here at the top so then I know where all my little bitty pieces are it's a habit that I got into okay so I don't need those anymore they can go over there to be put away now I am going to need to grab this piece out grab my stamp haven't used any of these I need to I, I love to have an alphabet for personalized cards I just love it oh no problem Cindy I will see you another time I'm not too bad I've been going just on an hour not too shabby at all. Uh, okay. So I think I can get two out of here. Which will give me three. Because I don't know why I really rejected that other one. But. Let's see look they're not perfect but they're workable and doable so I do like having them on the angle in the punch so this one that is two if you can hear any banging outside it's David practicing his karate so don't worry and then the bell obviously is Louisa. So he's three. And then let me see how many I can get two out of that. Maybe. Maybe three. We will see. So no other burning questions from you lovely ladies out there for me. Or am I that much of an open book that you feel like I cover most things? Okay, I should be able to get three out of that. And I'm going to be smart and close this. Because red ink is evil. If you get it, if you get it on your finger, you then get it everywhere. This one is a little close, but let's see if we can do it. Yes, we can. And I felt like breaking into Bob the Builder then. Shows you how old my children are. I know, it's such a cute punch. It is so, so, so very cute. 
Now, I'm hoping, if not, I'll grab out my mini dimensionals. But yes, we can just fit one dimensional on the back of each of these. And then we can pop it with the Poppy Parade ticket being askew underneath. And it just gives it some purpose. It's like having dropping a pile of tickets on the ground. So these, despite the fact I'd already done all the die cutting, I did all the hand cutting, I haven't rushed, and we are not doing too shabbily. Okay, right, let's see how we go here. doesn't really matter how it goes on um, just as long as it's got a little bit of the red peeking out underneath these are not going to be perfect by any means because I'm not perfect so why would they be it's the cutest little punch to Linda it really truly is and it is tiny, like definitely not big. I mean, it'd be better if we had a bigger version as well, but it's perfect for all of these letters. You've got the flowers in there. You've got the patterns. It's a, it's a good little bundle. And it's had quite a reasonable price uh, from memory. It's because it's a smaller punch. The bundle prices, ooh, Okay, that's good. Thank you for all the hearts. Don't forget to heart or like if you're loving what you're seeing, making sure you're subscribed. So who's going to be taking advantage of free shipping? Because it's today here in Australia. I know it's not quite there yet for some of you. But I know a lot of you are planning, creating wish lists, having your orders already done. And then all you have to do is press submit when the clock ticks over. Okay, that is all of that done. Now, back to these. And I'm going to... I think we're going to use a lot of dimensionals today, my lovelies. But I think I'm going to use just two on this one. That's all it's going to need. I'm just going to bring my rubbish into the screen here. So I don't have to lean quite as far. So if I do that there, and then I have put a dot of glue there, and I am going to grab my Take Your Pick tool, and here, this. Just like that. So we do actually have a fair bit of connection. I would love something there, but for this one, because the colours were so close, it just wasn't going to work. That's probably not going to be my favourite, but that's okay. Not every card we make needs to be our favourite, because it's more about the person that we give it to and um, how it brightens their day or how it works with the purpose that we send it for. Okay. Now this one I can have going somewhere about now. My, just easier to pop my dot of glue directly in here. Pick this up, 
drop this down and then I've got all the wiggle room to do just that. So that's that one. Love that. They are coming together beautifully. No, I haven't used the toothpicks yet. We're going to now, Peggy, because this card is one of those pennants. So we just used the flags and I'm going to grab my blue dots and pop these on. I knew I had a bit of a rogue glue dot. Just pray for me with toothpicks. They're fiddly, fiddly little things. But we shall see how we go. Oh, I have a glue dot all the way up here. Okay. Okay, glue dot on the back. Got toothpicks out. Actually, it may just be long enough to do what we want. Oh, except I just put it on upside down, Miss Jane. Let me not rip those off. But if we just have it sticking up a little bit there, I think... Oh, it's going to work! That is going to be amazing. That works so well. Oh my God. I know Peggy's not here and she had to run away. But toothpicks for the win. See, look at the pantry items that we use. I better not get into David's um, bad books at the moment. Hey, all this punching that's happening out there. Okay, so I want that to go about there, so that's all down, and then the tickets are going to go at the end. Now, what I'm going to want to do with the tickets is to put the toothpick in between the two layers so let me see if I can now do that so the toothpick is above it's let's see it's above the um, the back ticket but below the top ticket <gasps> that works so well Peggy genius 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 Okay, so we're going to put it that way. Grab some more glue dots. And here I am thinking I needed really long toothpicks. And I don't. I just need normal toothpicks. Yes, and it wasn't even my plan. Or was it you, Peggy? I, I'm trying to now think whether it was Vanessa or Peggy. I'm going to have to scroll back or rely on my brain's trust here. I think I just need two more. I think. We'll see. Let's make sure I'm putting it on the right way. A little bit above here. Don't want it taller than the actual pennant because I suppose you put a pennant on a piece of wood anyway so a toothpick isn't actually far removed from how you would traditionally use a pennant I mean I always love the look of them in the like 90s um tween shows not that tween was a word in the 90s but when I was watching like Saved by the Bell and stuff like that, they had all the pennants and the jackets and all of that, which was all like really, it was so cool. 
it's like why don't we have that and now both my kids they have senior jackets that are in that same style so their school senior jackets are exactly like that and I had a rugby I had a rugby jacket which wasn't anywhere near as fun as having a jacket style like that okay that's gonna sit like that so we're four cards down and we're still missing a flag yeah we are thoroughly missing it oh no it's on the ground i found it i just had to roll backwards found it found it let me roll all the way back okay so i will need one more toothpick there we go one more toothpick there we and let me oh, don't spin it off I just will spin the top so i don't lose any toothpicks because that'd be bad so now that i've only got two toothpicks left i think i'm going to undo them together so do them at the same time so then they're ready now when i looked at this card i went oh, i always add some embellishment on on a card always but i went do you know what it doesn't need any dotty jaw like any extra bits and bobs because we've used the pennants we've used the little ticket stack and we've used all the beautiful designer series paper i think if i added anything else it would be like way too much detail but certainly tell me if you would add something to this no no flag left behind absolutely okay so taken off the excess of this pop it back and they can go away because as I finish up with things I do like to pop them to where they belong because that just just helps I generally I do lose things on my desk often but I'm generally a fairly tidy crafter see dimensionals going away so now we need to add these toothpicks so just there glue dots amazing invention although i swear we all did it on the back of our hands at school coated our hands in glue that clear glue and then rolled it off I do wonder if my mother realised what I did with all the glue that she um, bought me. So I must have a yellow one here. I do. Do I do? Okay. Do you know what? I am going to try something quite radical here. Because the ends of these are so cute. Like the toothpick. I am actually going to leave the toothpick like that and then just add the stack of tickets here. Except it's upside down because that still looks really cool. Tell me what you think of that one. I quite like that. And then lucky last, and we've made six cards together in less than an hour and a half. Woohoo! Love that. And here, breaking up all that poppy parade, which is awesome. Dot of glue, that's the end of us using 
the glue so I will recap so we don't dry out and have too much of a kerfuffle. Okay, and this one needs to go. <coughs> I don't think he realises I was still on a video. He's trying out his key eyes, which if you're not a martial arts person, that's okay. It's just a emphasis. Hello. I don't have any resin stars, Deb, but that would be a really good thing to add. Hey, Kay, how are you? Only because you're looking right at them. Yeah, I never got them. So I don't have anything. Everything I've got is like quite circular. So once again, so sorry for my husband. He's, he's trying stuff out. Sorry there, my phone was telling me I had low battery. So let's close this off. Oh, how lovely for you, Kay. I hope you're enjoying your new living digs. So these are the cards that we made. So these are the pennants that we turned into a flag with the humble toothpick. And I'm trying to find my other flag ones. And these are the flags that we cut out of the designer series paper. We used the Alpha Best Stars and the Best Label Punch. For the stamped sentiment, we used Happy and Heartfelt, which is one of the stamp sets that is retiring. And to cut all of our rectangle pieces, I used the stitched rectangle dies, which, as you guys know, perennially a favourite. And do you know what? I may even just lie my toothpicks just there. Hopefully you can see their toothpicks. As I said, the toothpicks are 20 years old. So these are just some. Do you know what I want to do? I want to choose a couple of different colours. They're the cards that we have done. Although, I want to choose one that's different. I'll choose that one because that one's a bit different. You know, I like to lay it out nicely. My pleasure. I'm so glad. And they're not just birthday cards. Yes, you can use them as birthday cards, but they're great as congratulation and encouragement cards because there are lots of little things in life to celebrate. And I think... The male population sometimes gets a little forgotten with celebrating the little wins in life and the things that they do. So just as a reminder, we have free shipping today until midnight, 21st of June. We have our last chance list from the mini catalogue and we have our buy one, get one, half price which is the more expensive kit um, on our kit collection. So if you want to take advantage of the free shipping with those offers, today is the day to do it. If you have any questions or queries, please don't hesitate to give me a, a message or a call, carry a pigeon, whatever your style may be. I will see you on Thursday over on YouTube, so make sure you are subscribed to me over there and have hit the bell so you get notifications. I'm very glad you loved the process, Linda. I'm very glad to get them done and have some amazing cards in my stash. Thank you so much for the toothpick idea because I was kind of struggling what to do with these pennants. So have an amazing couple of days and I will see you Thursday in my time over on YouTube. Bye. Hi, Alex. Bye, Alex.